If you really want to use like a celebrity or a, whatever a fitness influencer physique to aspire to. I recommend this guy. Focus on science. If that helps you, that's fine. Do that, but don't expect to look exactly the same because it's not going to happen. So the context of my video is Matt Does Fitness made a video where he shows how you can change your body in 10 minutes by changing the lighting, angles, flexing, spraying water to create a before and after picture using the same physique which can then be posted to social media to mislead people. So the before and after picture swindle. Now I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this in less than 10 minutes. An excellent video idea which can help many people in the beginner trap. My video is a commentary on his video and it is meant to be informational in nature. So the purpose of today's video is to demonstrate just how misleading social media can be, particularly Instagram, when it comes to making judgments on people's physique. Debunking this myth can help people to avoid fitness scams when it comes to these before and after pictures. What you see on social media, and like I said, uh, Instagram in particular, can be so, so, in fact, a lot of the time is very, very misleading. But the irony of making that statement whilst wearing that t-shirt. Very, very misleading. The amount of fake natties who lie to their audience whilst being sponsored and promoted by that company. How I went from natural to unnatural in 10 minutes. Which then leads to his title, which is more problematic than Microsoft's understanding of supply and demand. Did they not think that more than 100 people would want them? How did this guy get that? Does Sony give priority to YouTube mukbang creators? Joke's on you. I will show the many good things that he says later, many profound statements he does make, and his information about how to create these pictures is completely correct. But he's chosen to bring up his natty status in this way. And he ain't silly. He's a smart guy. He knows when he makes this title, when he puts those words in capitals, when he makes this thumbnail, he knows that people are going to talk about it. He knows there's going to be critique videos. It all builds into the traffic towards the video. Fine. That's how YouTube is. He's voluntarily planted this seed, if you like, for this discussion. And let me ask you your thoughts before I get to his rationale. What do you think that this title refers to? How I went from natural to unnatural in 10 minutes. They are both him, so is he saying that he is actually enhanced? Is he going to give information about how someone may become enhanced? For example, talking about substances, doses, post-cycle therapy, those types of issues. Okay, so there we have it, the before picture and the after picture. And again, like the difference is ridiculous. Like it's my body, but even I am like, that guy is definitely on steroids. Like, nope, he's saying that lighting angles, flexing and spraying water will make you go from natty, obviously, to looking like Conan the Barbarian. And so to be clear about what he's expressing, because me chopping his clips into a video can be hard to follow at times. He's saying that he's natty and day to day as he's walking around, he's more like the physique on the left, the before picture. And that the after picture is so extreme and all the techniques that he's used to look more defined, etc., almost make it look like he could be enhanced, even though he's natty. The difference is ridiculous. Like it's my body, but even I am like, that guy is definitely on steroids. Like I think that is how you, I think most of you guys probably like picture my physique looking like that. The truth is a lot of the time it looks more like that. That is a more realistic reflection of how I look from day to day. I mean, this bit is the bizarre bit. Hence why I titled my video as I did. And so the video was partly, and in my opinion, probably made to again, defend his natty status. I think it's probably more like a middle ground. Like I don't stick my stomach out a lot of the time, but like if you are looking for an accurate reflection of how my physique looks most of the time that is more like it than that is. does he look better in the after picture than when he's walking around yes does he look different in the before picture and more bloated than when he's normally walking around of course is the video lead up to defending his natty status convincing to you he seems like a very nice man. I have nothing personal against him. I've been sat on 1.9 million subscribers for about 500 years. It is absolutely killing me. So if you can get us to 2 million, that'll be massively appreciated. I enjoy many of his videos. I find some of them very interesting, like the military video. But when it comes to the after picture, of course, the point of the swindle is to make it look better than the before picture. But not to a point where a natty person would then look like Hercules with the keys to the naughty sauce shop. His video is a bit like a game of two halves. He does give the correct information in, in relation to the before and after scam if no photoshop is used and a person looks enhanced in the after picture most likely they're enhanced first the before pic in this instance i was getting myself set up to be completely front on to the main source of natural light and in doing so that basically completely washed out my physique first thing to note is that i'm not contracting my abs and that makes an absolutely enormous difference and the last thing is that i'm kind of i'm arching my shoulders kind of arching my back and leaning back just a little bit and there we have it my before photo now i want to stress here obviously i'm not saying i look absolutely terrible by any stretch obviously some people would you know would think this is a decent physique but as far as i'm concerned if you look at my you know my other pictures you look at me and kind of of optimal setting this is like for me it's bad
Moving on, it's time to get the after shot. So what I'm basically gonna do here is create the best environment I possibly can, get the perfect conditions to make my physique look absolutely nuts. So I've turned up the downlighters to the max. Basically, the stronger the downlight is, the more kind of definition, the more shadows and lines you're gonna get. I use downlight to get sick lines on my head. Classic. What I'm also doing here is turning the aircon up and making the room like hotter. Using aircon for heat in England, that should have been the topic of his video. Quite simply, the warmer the room is, the more blood flow you're gonna stimulate, the more kind of dilated your blood vessels are gonna be and the better the pump you can get. Cool, I'm basically gonna try and get like a short-term sick pump, so. And so he does push-ups, curls for the girls, lat raises, all that type of good stuff to get the old pump. Spraying water on himself. Now here I hold my hands up and say, yeah, this is probably quite weird. Like I'm not experienced at spraying water myself. I'm not really a big fan of it, but I did a Gymshark shoot last month. They did it, they freaking covered me with water and I looked nuts. So this is kind of a thing I thought I would integrate just to make me look even sicker. Hold on a second. So Gymshark, the company that you are sponsored by, did exactly the thing that you are showing to your audience to be misleading during your photo shoot with them. I'm setting up in exactly the same spot. So I'm trying to keep it as consistent as I can. Like I said, the big change is that the blinds are down, uh, the lights are much stronger. Now, straight away, I'm contracting my abs. All right, you can see the, the vascularity, the pump in my chest. Uh, and then he flexes his abs, etc. and you have the after picture. And then here we have the after shot. I think it's pretty apparent how like drastic the changes. And again, I want to stress the fact that the gap between those two photos being taken was about six or seven minutes. And so that's correct. And those are the basic techniques that people use to create these manipulative artificial before and after pictures, if you like. For example, I used to look like this and now I took this supplement or I did this workout program and I now look like this in 30 days by my stuff. <laughs> And so Matt was debunking that scam. And in essence, when people watch his video, they can understand these little techniques used and they can avoid falling into these traps. And also some of the wider points he made in his video were very good. When you see a picture of someone stood in the mirror taking a selfie, that person has probably taken about 400 photos. They've got the light right, they've got the pump right, they've got the angle right. All of these things, all of these kind of distortions. So don't use that as your barometer. Don't be fooled by misleading marketing. Because it doesn't exist, right? The, the physique you are aspiring to isn't actually a real thing. And trying to look like someone else, unless you're gonna get plastic surgery, isn't realistic. Speak for yourself, mate. I achieved full Leonardo DiCaprio years ago. You still shouldn't be aspiring to achieve someone else's physique. So I've said it a million times before, and it sounds super cheesy. The best goal you can set is just to be a better version of yourself. And so he does make loads of good statements like this on his channel. Not the fitness mukbang challenges, but the poignant fitness statements such as that. However, slight detraction being that perhaps, possibly, maybe, he may be projecting an unnaturally attainable physique to his audience because if you are setting yourself uh, goals and standards and expectations that are unrealistic that you can never achieve obviously eventually you're gonna you're gonna not hit those and it's gonna bum you out and so his video is a wee bit curious in presentation and again just to reiterate just to hammer home the point when you see a person on social media looking like that the truth is that person probably spends most of their time looking more like that and so his video was a bit weird but i feel like he purposefully made it in that way to kind of spout this discussion whilst on one hand he's correcting the information he's giving focus on yourself improve yourself don't compare yourself to others type stuff and on the other hand, a little bit weird in its presentation. I'm James Linker. This is Shred Sports Science. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on this one. Very interested about that. I'll see you soon. You are welcome. See you later. And that's the way the news goes.